Okay, Susanna, she's got no idea at all. She hasn't a clue when it comes to Trevor. I mean, I know Trevor is impossible sometimes, but I do think I know him probably better than anyone. Oh, oh yeah. Exactly. And I think if I talk to them before they do something they'll regret. Well, like her shooting him? Oh, don't be silly. Look, Trevor is very selfish, <sighs> very spoiled, self-pitying, self-obsessed. I know, I know. All right, all right. 10 minutes, I promise. Mm. There's your book. Oi! I take it you still prefer me? I think so. Mostly. Mm. Ooh, bedroom farce, Alan Eggborn. Um, it's a comedy um, based on the relationships of four couples in three bedrooms over one evening. Mm -hmm. Many, many things occur on that evening and they're all, they all know each other or they're all linked in some way. And the four couples represent uh, different things. The elder couple represent the kind of more established, comfortable relationship. Um, our couple is, I guess, an established relationship which is still quite volatile but a little comfortable with each other. Then we have a newly, a newly married couple which is kind of love is blossoming and all that kind of sickening stuff. Splash me again and you will be in trouble. I'm getting dressed in the bathroom. I don't trust you. No. Now where have you put my shoes? Oh, my, my blotch! Blotch! You are going to get it! There's that sort of level of politeness that's very British. Whereas like, there's a scene where Lizzie's character is in bed naked and a stranger walks in and she has to pretend that it's completely normal because it would be too embarrassing to tell this stranger that she's naked in this bed and he should leave. <laughs> so they just have a very normal conversation? Yes. Yeah, so. Then why did you throw a chair at them if you didn't mean to break them? I don't know, I just felt like throwing a chair, that's all. No law against throwing chairs, is there? It was my chair. Protectionally violent, that's what he said, that man! He was an idiot! No, he wasn't, my mother always went to him! He told me I had a natural mechanical aptitude. I can't even put the plug on the hoover. No. Well, anyway, the one good thing about this party... What? At least we're both lying together on the same bed. If you don't get a laugh on a particular line, you wait till the next night and you know, and you, you, you can adjust things and work on things as it goes. Just because you don't get a laugh on a particular line on the first night, I don't think it's a, a tragedy. Um, and and it's so, important yeah, not to push then, isn't yeah. it? You know? And we are trying to portray you know, real characters, so I think the story is very important. So if we don't get a laugh, we don't get a laugh. You know, we've still got a story to tell about relationships. So if anything else is a bonus. Yeah, and if you you know if you can't be funny, be quick, you know, so you just you get on with it, isn't it? That's the rule. You don't dwell on it. Yeah, you you just, yeah definitely. <laughs> just get on with it. Yeah. Oh my god, they're not laughing. Quick move on. <laughs> yes, I pronounce these pilchers a success. Oh, jolly good. Right. Here I come. Stand by for cold feet. Yes. Oh, you're getting fish off the Jeez. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Please, we're in for a reasonably early night. <laughs> yes. Sunday tomorrow, we can have a lion. We could go for a walk later if you like. Oh, that'd be nice. If unwet. Rather. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll both be crouching in the rafters with buckets. God forbid. <laughs> I think there's a, a, a very good moment in the play when, when you sort of said, well, you know, Ernest completely ignores me. I, you know, I have to fight to get his attention. You know, and I mean, I think there are many married couples who, who've reached that point. You know, um, and, and of course, um, if sex is ever mentioned, I mean, um, that is an absolute no-no. Oh, yeah. Uh, that is, you know, and we're, we're going, and we, that's something we 
totally do not want to speak about no. at all. No, I think she's always closed her eyes and thought of English. <laughs> and I don't Except think... once, uh, yes. when Trevor was conceived. And I, I don't think he's, he's that bothered either. Um, oh, isn't it lovely to reach the age where you don't care yes, about it Yes, I know. I sympathise with that. <laughs>